In this presentation, we will discuss the ethics of implementing artificial intelligence to select embryos in in vitro fertilization. In vitro fertilization, also known as IVF, is a clinical technique which has revolutionized infertility treatment. It involves fertilizing eggs in a lab and selecting one of the resultant embryos to transfer into the uterus to begin a pregnancy. To date, more than 9 million babies have been born through IVF, but only 25% of embryos transferred reach a live birth. Increasing the success rate per transfer could shorten the time to pregnancy and lower treatment cost. These images show the embryo's development from day one to day five. One cycle of IVF usually generates multiple embryos. To maximize the chance of achieving a live birth, an embryologist selects the best looking embryo under a microscope for transfer to the uterus. There is reason to believe that artificial intelligence could be better for this task. Firstly, computers can capture and process many more data points. For example, a time lapse with an image every 15 minutes instead of the two or three images typically evaluated by an embryologist. AI algorithms might be better at leveraging this data to recognize important patterns and therefore be more accurate than humans. <clears throat> Furthermore, embryologists often disagree with each other when assessing embryo appearance, sig signifying a high degree of subjectivity. An algorithm's evaluation could be much more objective. However, we see several concerns with using AI for this task, and we can split these into ethical and epistemic concerns. The most significant ethical objection we have to clinical implementation is the current lack of randomized controlled trials which demonstrate safety and effectiveness. These would be an absolute prerequisite for clinical implementation. Black box AI algorithms override the shared clinical decision-making process of doctors and patients who would have no choice but to accept or reject an algorithm's recommendation without any consideration of its reasoning process. Another disadvantage of a hidden reasoning process is that such a model may select for certain characteristics, like male or female sex, unbeknownst to the patient. This selection may not align with patient values. These biases could impact society, for example, by causing a population gender imbalance. Finally, it is unclear who would be responsible if it becomes evident that the algorithm makes poor choices for embryo selection. And black box also AI also causes a number of epistemic concerns. Most obviously, there is an information asymmetry between the companies who sell the tool and the embryologists who need to decide which embryo to transfer. This makes these algorithms difficult to trust. This is especially problematic because confounders which reduce the generalizability of an algorithm are rampant and can be easily missed in evaluation. Furthermore, if an algorithm has a faulty reasoning process, this is difficult to check before errors occur. The economics may also be unfavorable to IVF clinics. A model's ability may only be guaranteed when treatment conditions perfectly match experimental conditions, and this could force IVF clinics to purchase specific equipment, perhaps from one provider, to guarantee success. Finally, troubleshooting and fixing an algorithm's recommendation is difficult when you can't understand how it reasons. An interpretable AI algorithm, one whose decision-making process could be easily understood and communicated, could address some of these concerns. We could more easily identify biases in the, in the decision-making process. The algorithm's reasoning process could be used as an aid to clinical decision-making and the responsibility for decision making clearly remains with the clinician. Combined human plus machine performance could be evaluated in a combined arm of a randomized control trial. Confounders would become apparent as would an altogether erroneous reasoning process. And clinicians could modulate their interpretation of an algorithm's recommendation under different conditions, leaving IVF clinics less susceptible to economic exploitation. The ethical concerns we have highlighted require great attention as using AI for IVF has the potential to impact future generations. Please read our full paper for a list of useful recommendations for safe and ethical implementation of AI for embryo selection.